Tick, tick, ba boom, boom. Tick, 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 ba boom, boom. Foot on the pedal, I move, ba vroom, vroom. Tick, tick, I'm, I'm, tick, I'm, I'm, boom, boom. Hey, Tomsters, Tommy here. So today I am doing another hair video, but this video is quite different because I am making a short wig. I have never had like like pixie cut length hair, like a really, really short cut. And lately I've been wanting a shortcut and I've been kind of wanting short natural hair too. But basically I went to the Beast Supply Store. I was going to buy the Sensational Fab Fringe Wig. But when I went to the Beast Supply Store, they didn't have, they didn't carry Sensational. So I just bought this stuff because I had watched a video on YouTube of a woman making a wig. And it turned out really nice. Loved it. I'm going to make my own. Basically. So the things that I'm going to be using are the Milky Way 27 piece hair. And this was $10.99. So not a bad price. It's 100% human hair. So you can flat iron it, curl it, whatever. And I like that, the style. So I'm going for something like this. But I want like actual bangs. So my bangs are going to be quite long on the wig that I'm going to make. So this also comes with, you know, the vinyl, the cap. It comes with the closure piece and the stocking cap and all that. But I did buy a spandex dome cap because I usually make my wigs in spandex dome cap. Now for this particular wig, I am not sewing it down with needle and thread like I usually do. That usually does take a lot of time, but I bought some hair bonding glue. And then of course my handy dandy <laughs> mannequin head and my mannequin head stand. These are basically all the things I'm going to be using. The video that I'm going to be referencing to make my own wig, I will leave in the description box for you guys to watch yourselves if you want to watch the exact video that I watched. Now I'm just going to put on my spandex dome cap. When you get the 27 piece hair, like I said, it comes with a closure and it comes with three individual sets. So basically one inch hair, two inch hair, and three inch hair. I'm going to use the one inch hair for the back, then I'm going to go with the two inch, and then I'm going to try to use the three inch in the, um, in the, you know, front area so that I can actually have that bang that I'm looking for. These are the one inch tracks that I'm going to be laying in the back, and I'm just going to start at the very back of the head, cut it, and then glue it on. Like I said, I have my scissors and things right here. So I cut the piece and I'm just gonna glue it. You're just gonna be seeing me. That's really self-explanatory. I don't even have to explain that to you guys really because you're gonna see it. See my days are cold without you. So I was just trying to, you know, get finished more with the wig. So basically, I am up here at the top area. I marked out this spot right here because that's where I'm going to use the three inch pieces. But right now I'm using the two inch pieces and I am using my blow dryer and I'm like going along. I put a little bit of glue where the hair starts and then I blow dry that more, blow dry that more, blow dry that until I get all the way around to the other side. And that's just easier for me because it's less messy. Like sometimes I still make little mistakes, but... For the most part, it has been pretty clean this way. I'm going to continue doing this. I have a little bit more to go in this area. And then I'm going to start laying the tracks toward the front. Again, I'm going to do the reference video because it's really not a how-to. I'm just going to show you how I created my own. And I'm going to tell you if I did something different, basically. 
Okay, so I'm almost here and I'm just going to use the closure piece. All I did was cut tracks in this one. I actually went all the way around. But I'm not doing anything hard. I'm just, you know, gluing on the tracks. And it got a little messy, so I'm trying to... Today is um, Thursday and I made this last Saturday. So I've had it for about a week now, I guess. And um, the video ended in a weird place. Like I kept running out of space on my camera. But now I'm just going to show you what I did afterwards. So basically after that, I like took my razor comb and I took the like shorter side and then I just like went over the back to it's like really flat so you can see it's pretty flat in the back I do think I'm gonna add a little more track because it's kind of like like you know spacey back there but not right now also my bangs originally weren't as long as I wanted them to be so what I ended up doing was I added tracks underneath the actual cap so on the inside of the cap at the very bottom I added like two tracks right there and then I went in and I added more three-piece tracks in the um in between some of the other tracks and I think I added like four additional tracks so my bangs are longer now and I also added combs to the wig as well so these are actually how long the bangs are they're a little iffy because they're all going different ways but this is about how long it is which is basically fine for me um at first i'll show you some pictures this was the first day which was sunday i went to church and you can see how short my bangs were now they're a lot longer so basically i'm going to show you how i styled it now that first day i did use these little bitty flat irons which these get really really hot and they hurt my hands a lot because they are they are so hot like the whole this part gets hot so I don't like using those, but I remember I have another flat iron. So I'm using this Conair flat iron to do the little flips and curls and everything. I usually just style this part. I will do like some swoops here and I do like curl this part as well because it is kind of long. Just bump it with the curling iron. So I'm going to show you how I do my hair. Just keep everything else out the way because it can, even though it's short hair, it does still get in the way especially if you're just working on a section and you don't want the other section in your face so i just like take a section of the hair grab my flat irons and then i'll kind of turn them in the way that it wants to go so i just keep curling it and keep curling it until i get like a little swoop looking thing and then i like to turn it up then I just do this all over the sections. Excuse the banging noise. There's maintenance people outside. So you can see, I get the little flip, and then I just turn it up. Just do this all over the front part, but when I'm on this side, I'll do these swoops the other way. See my days are cold without you. See my days are cold without you.
this is what it looks like now um, after I've curled it. And I just love the little the little cool curls and everything. I like it cute, you know. We're not wearing some makeup. It looks really, really bomb. But yeah, this is my go-to styling of it. Um, making the wig was, was super easy and I didn't have to do that much like cutting. At first, I was kind of disappointed because the hair in the front was so short but after I put the um some tracks underneath the actual cap at the bottom it got longer but also I noticed that I thought I wanted my bangs to be like really long but now I don't <laughs> so you can still see they're kind of short which I like because they're like too long like I was looking like no that'll be too long because I kind of feel like when they're all brushed down I don't like that look but I like it curly a little bit off my forehead you know it, it kind of decreases the size of my forehead so either way it goes I love the cut. Um, I got a lot of compliments on it. Everyone keeps telling me I look like Tony Braxton um, with it, but like that's the one I keep getting a lot of. But I like it, and I just think it looks better with curls. The only thing is they kind of fall pretty fast, so I need to get some hairspray. But other than that, this is just how I've been rocking it, and I guess I'll take this in the bathroom so you guys can get a better lighting. So here we go. This is just how it's styled. Some natural lighting.